Says the Groundhog, There is a place of liberation I can experience only from here. I am grounded beneath the scope of representation. I am the limb to the amputee's construction of center. Space is a place as place is a space. Separate for argument like outfit or privacy. Same for other argument like whole, vision, or of course, same. Place like vulnerable as space like flexible, but place like sturdy as space like loose. Both like bond says join two dependent parts incompatible for argument like words as access to target, cheap, quick-sighted, and opportunistic. Like bond breaks two dependent parts to defend itself, like anger and other satisfying places for space. A place is a social building. A space is the past life of place. Place is a destination Space is the reimagination of place. Place is a reflection of entire persons. Space is a blink of reflection. Because neighbored, either is both free and subject to art of possible. Because neighbored, neither is idle. If I am to think of center, I find it helpful to think of oxygen. If I am to think of words, I find it helpful to think of other words. But when I think of my experience as collected, I think mostly of place and its space. I challenge myself to render the layers of progressive interaction and expressions of demand and need and exactly where they always are not each other. I fabricate contours in high contrast and simplify visions of compassion and romance. As if the subject were dead and fenced in chalk, I squint my eyes to burn a light, accessible memory. Beneath every implementation of convenience, I see the humiliation of human trial. With every inception of now, I see the defaulting of those disenfranchised. I see scars of priority and covers blown, darknesses on edges deliberated in light. I see contradiction in articulation and with creative perspective, unintended attempted theft at best. Denial draws contours to distinguish itself from the margins by creating margins with the drawing of contours. Denial is to associate contours with identity and personal security. Denial is to make place of space. There is an exclusive value placed on the ability to navigate the drawing of contours. Empathy itself will justify the deliberations of denial. I assure my audience of the trending compromise that comes with age, where increment finds acclimate, and acclimate reconciles increment to better reconcile acclimate. Like when water trespasses by just a single degree of Fahrenheit, or five-ninths of a degree of Celsius, it becomes frozen and transfigured into a jurisdiction no longer responsive to or in recognition of the presupposing condition of water. Though our matter the same, vision, progress, and place exist entirely on both the premise and measurement of space. How is independence possible? Or is exception to necessity? There are things we take for granted, as justice is but any given. There is imagination like island eruption, is new land to rising horizon. 
We rest our contradiction and do not contribute shame. What virtue of yours could our shame possibly reflect?